Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode is powered by Hayabusa. It's about MMA pad work and how it differs from kickboxing and Muay Thai. In today's video, we're talking about pad work for MMA and how it differs slightly from kickboxing and MMA. Now, when you ever see kickboxers and Muay Thai fighters, a lot of time it's all from the Thai pads. And the pad work itself is a little bit more stationary. So you'll see a little bit more of that stationary kicking, switch kicking, front kicks, right? You see a lot of the different jab round kicks. It's a little bit more stationary, power focused, looking up, blocking, and countering, okay? Which is nice. You'll see a lot of clinching and kneeing, but in reality, MMA pad work needs to be a little bit more different because of the different rule sets and the wrestling mixed with the small gloves. You need a little bit more distance control. So today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I train my MMA fighters on the pads and the system I use to do so, okay? now. I'm gonna use different types of tools and I think as, as a coach and as a pad holder, you need to understand different tools offer you different types of skills that you can work on. So obviously if I have the paddles or the hit sticks, I'm not really looking for power. It could be speed, it can be head movement, which obviously is more important in MMA than it is in kickboxing and Muay Thai. So this is why I'm gonna show you the different types of tools we use. And obviously you can see Hayabusa, pads and equipment are my personal favorite. So what we're gonna start with here is I like to hit with my paddles. Now, what's nice about this for MMA is it creates movement, it's light, it's fast. So the way we start here is I'm gonna start by activating the jab and you'll notice I create a lot of movement. Double jab, okay? And so we're moving a lot more, okay? So she's keeping that distance here and we're staying nice and long. And you can see I always encourage my MMA fighters to move a little bit more and create those angles, double, okay? And that movement. So already you can see the warm up in our little pad is using our straight punches. And usually here I'm gonna get her fainting and occupying, so she's fainting here, fainting, and then when I go, boom, and she's gonna move, right? So. With MMA versus kickboxing, the movement, distance control, that much more important. So that's why I get Izzy moving. Two, the idea of fainting, occupying, and snapping is very important. So we usually like to start warming up with the paddles and you can see that movement being really effective. Now, usually from here, I like to go more into either smaller focus mitts, okay? And then this way here, she's able to kind of sit on her punches a little bit more, kind of feel things out. So from the paddle, from those paddles, we move on to the little bit of the focus mitts, okay? Now even with the focus mitts, right? I'm gonna get her to be very precise with her striking. We're not warming up the power yet. We're still keeping the movement, right? Where she can still kind of use her different kicks, okay? Nice and control placing her, her strikes, okay? Double, good, fencing, boom, Bang. yes, there we go. So you can see already that style of movement gets playing, all right? Now, with this movement, the straight punches gets activated even before I get into the heavy tie pads, okay? And this is where I, you can change up the orders and stuff like that. This is where I think the hit sticks kind of become very important. Now, with the hit sticks, personally for me, I like to do it either as the first one as we warm up because it gets them moving their head. If I start them on the tie pads, they're gonna get really heavy set and I want them to be a little bit more with the head movement when it comes to the small glove training. So then I'll introduce the hit sticks or my tie pads at that point because as you notice, as a coach, I'm visualizing a fight when I do pad work. When you get into a fight, ideally you're not gonna go in there and start power hitting like you would on the tie pads, right? You're gonna be moving, feeling out, using your feints, jabs and straight punches, trying to get reactions from your opponent. That's why we have the little mitts next is because the focus pads, then you can start sitting down on those singles and doubles, trying to use counters. But at some point you need to activate the head movement, okay? So a very simple head movement drill you can use with the hit sticks is I'll say one punch or two punch, and then I could say single slip, double slip, slip roll, okay? So it'll be a single jab, slip, boom. And then usually from here, you know what counter comes next here. Boom, boom, the hook cross. So I can say one, two, single slip, 
boom. I can say two punches, two slip. And then she builds in the counter. So two punch, two slip. Good, and we can still activate the movement. And see how I always have one hand out? It's because I want her constantly managing distance one, but an important part is, look, boom, creating these angles as she punches, right? This is what I call turning my opponent and finding those angles makes it better. Now, I could even say slip rolls, one punch, slip roll, and then she builds in the counter. I can ask for three punches at the end. I can say two punch, slip, slip, roll. Roll, right? I can say single punch, two slip roll. Boom. And then she can either counter, not counter, air punch, but getting the head movement activated with some punches, head movement, and countering, very important for MMA. Now at that point, you've activated the straight punches, you got the snap and pop coming, the head movement going well with the countering. And then at that point, a lot of the times I've introduced the big pads. And now big pads you're gonna get like I said in the beginning of the video, a little bit more stationary movement. That doesn't have to be completely, but you'll see here we use a little bit more kicks, knees, hand frames if she wants to, okay? Still being able to attack, okay? Boom, perfect. So we get to play in here now. Now everybody's got a little different style. Some poor people are more, you know, boxing-based, kickboxing, you know, MMA. So you gotta be able to play different styles as well, okay? So the key thing I want you to get from this video is don't just use one tool set, okay? Even kickboxers, even Muay Thai fighters, it's important you activate a lot of the other skills in fighting that you're not gonna work just on the Thai pads, okay? So like I mentioned earlier, and I'm gonna recap it with this, is understanding when I do pad work, I gotta look at my fighter and I need to see what skills I'm trying to develop in this round, okay? But regardless, if I'm trying to work kicking, punching, speed, power, there's so many different areas. Pick one and focus on it. But it's important to put it together in a big fight scenario, right? How are you gonna approach the fight? That's why, again, the smaller mitts with the straight punches, using the feints, the occupying space, then finding, you know, maybe some counters, precision striking with the focus mitts, moving our head with the hit sticks, and then when it's time to hit power, you crack with the big ties, you know, tie pads that you're used to, okay? So mixing them up is the key, and I think it's that much more important in MMA. Small gloves, let's be honest, right? You can't just sit there in a high guard shell block, so you're gonna have to use your footwork a little bit more. Fainting, head movement, kind of probing, all becomes that much more important with the small gloves on. Defense changes, so footwork becomes that much more important, okay? Hope you gained a lot from today's episode. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and sharing Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. And make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. We got Hayabusa, right? Every pair of shorts I've been wearing, all my gear, all by Hayabusa. You can get yours at HayabusaFight.com. We also have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20, gets you 20% off. Make sure you get your stacks of BCAAs and protein for your training recovery. And last but not least, we have bazookatraining.com where you get online curriculum taught by me. And it's less than $10 a month. We have four brand new videos coming on Mondays, home workouts, bag workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, all for less than 10 bucks a month taught by me. This is just an introduction. You wanna get into the details, you go over to bazookatraining.com, and now the best part of it is, each week the library keeps getting bigger and bigger, and now we have a library of over 250 videos for you to learn from. So sign up, get learning, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title.
Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.